Hi friends, I hope you are doing well. Today I am came across with uh, another uh, practical interview questions which were uh, given in coding test round of EPAM. So I am going to start without wasting a time. So first question they have asked, which of the following SQL query is correct for selecting the name of the students from students table where total mark is 90 or 80? So according to your question, you have they have given four options. First option, select a name from a student where salary between 80 and 90 or select name from a student where salary in 80 and 90 uh, are both. A and B, none of the above. So, according to question, you have to give select the correct answer. I uh, for your convenience, uh, whatever uh, there are twelve questions they have asked. Out of twelve questions, there are ten questions in multi choice question MCQ and two question is theoretical. Then another question is asked: Which class work on the group rather than the individual group? So they uh, they ask given uh, option where in having are not in not in. Uh, now another question, uh, fourth number question. Third, I think uh, the uh, screenshot we, who has shared that is missed. So I am starting. Uh, I am taking fourth one. Which type of slow changing dimension SCD let you maintain in history while inserting the new record as a new row? Type one, type two, type three are. Four, which Windows function is used to rank sequentially without skipping or adding duplicates within the win Windows partition? Another fifth number question: rank, dense rank, row number, none of the above. So you have to check. Uh, you as per your knowledge, as per your understanding, you have to select the proper uh, option. Now six number question: they asked. Which Spark optimization is used internally to limit leads to a subset from a large data set? Partition puring, predicate pushdown, dynamic partition, or none of the these. So you, uh, uh, according to the uh, question, you have to think which one is perfect here and select the proper option on there. Now seventh number question they ask: What does the Docker file contain? Compiled source code or Docker image or binary data or instruction for building a Docker image. Same, you can choose proper option. What statements related to CI CD are correct? Uh, continuous integration is focused on automatically building first option and testing code as a compared to the continuous delivery, which automates this entire software release process up to the production. Our second option, CI focus on the preparing code for release build test where CD involve the actual release of the code. Okay. Now, third option they have given both A and B. Now, fourth option, none of the A work. Ninth, uh, ninth number question they asked, how the data is processed in Spark streaming? Continuous streaming of data. Or small batches of data near real time, or through uh, medium to large batches, or none of the above. None of the above. So this uh, this is ninth number question, and choose accordingly what you know. Now another question asks, what is uh, what is true about uh, lint linting? So uh, here in first option given, it is most helpful to. To identify some common and uncommon mistake that are made during the coding. Second, it is the process of checking the source code of the formatting discrepancy non uh, non adherence to coding standard convenience and possible logical error in your program. You have to choose either A and both you either both or one or none of the these. So these are the uh, 10 question, the multi MCQ question they asked. And now I'm going to the theoretical question, th what they have asked. So they asked, first, you are given an array of n integer. You want to split them into n by 2 pair in such a way that the sum of the integer in each pair is odd. Each pair is odd. In n is even and every element of the array must be present to exactly one pair. 
your task is to determine whether it is possible to split the number into such a pair or not so for example they have given for example they have given like 274631 the answer is true why one of the uh, possible set of the pair is 2 comma 7 6 comma 3 and 4 comma 1 their sum are uh, respectively 9 9 and 5 all of which are odd so again i am going to read the question then you will understand what uh, need we have to do you are given an array of n integer you have given an n integer array you want to split them into n by 2 pair n by 2 pair in such way that the sum of integer in each pair is odd each pair is odd you understand this point first what it is telling you want to split them into n by 2 n by 2 n by 2 in uh, such pair in such pair uh, in such way that the sum of integer in each pair is odd and n is given and every element of the array must be present in exactly one pair your task is to determine whether it is possible to split the number up into such pair or not example i told you okay now there are some question write a python function which given an array of integer a of n length n return true when it is possible to create the required pair and false otherwise so write an if uh, write an efficient algorithm for the following assumption n is an integer with in the range of 2 to this and n is even each element of array a is an integer with in the range okay now i'm going to start giving the solution to ensure that each pair has an odd odd sum we must uh, we must pair one even number and one odd number in each pair even number and one is odd number in each pair okay so you have to split like that see that if i am going to directly take this it will work but here if i am going to directly take it both are odd uh, sorry even so it will not create a number so we have to take first these two then 6 uh, 3 then 4 1 such pair we have to take on there so for thus the uh, thus for the solution to be possible the count of even number must be equal to count of the our uh, odd number then it will work count of even number and count of odd number then it will work now i am going to give the solution so i have written some simple function define conf uh, i have given the name this name to function and passing the uh, array then i am checking the count of even number some one for number in a uh, what i have done here i have taken one here how i have run the loop for number 1 uh, if uh, for i am run the uh, loop i have taken the one uh, variable uh, a number in a if num is divided by 2 then it is even it then it is even i want to take the count uh, count of odd number so whatever sum i get in, uh, get he got here i will uh, i will do the uh, uh, take the length of the array and will do the minus of even then it uh, then it will uh, then i will check and then i will check count even equal to count odd then uh, count even equal to count odd if both are matching then it will give the true if it is not going to match then it will give the false so this way i have given the answer and uh, another question they have asked on on an online recruiting platform each recruiting company can make a request for their candidate to complete a personalized skill assessment the assessment can contain task three category sql algo or bug fix so following the assessment the company received report uh, contain for each candidate their declared uh, declared year of experience in integer between uh, 100 
uh, between 100 and their score in each category. The score is the uh, number of points from 0 to 100 or null which means they there uh, was no task in the category. So they have given the schema like that. Uh, you are you are uh, given a table assessment with the following structure like uh, create table assessment id integer no, uh, not null experience sql algo these are the uh, this is the create table they have given and what is the requirement of that write a sql query that for each distinct experience level count the total number of assessment for the that experience level count the number of assessment where the candidate achieve the maximum score so a candidate is considered to have a maximum score in a category if their score is 100 or uh, 100 or null since null means they uh, were not assigned a task and it's treated as a perfect score now another point your query should return a table with the following column experience the experience level of the candidate max number of the assessment achieved the uh, minimum score uh, maximum score count the total number of assessment for the uh, that experience level so the result should be ordered by the descending expression and i'm going to suppose this is the input suppose this is the input id experience uh, sql algo work fix id 13 experience 100 sql null and algo 50 and work fix 25 so once uh, uh, expected output like 100 experience 100 1 max 2 count 5 1 max 1 count on there same way there is another example uh, input id experience is equal algo bug fix like 112 null 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 1220 null null 20 like that given and 20, uh, experience level 20 17 13 like 1 0 1 2 1 1 1 2 like this is output output is given now these are the tables given now i'm going to prepare a data set through the data data set through the PySpark. i have defined the schema struct type i have defined the data then i have created a data uh, data frame and through the data frame i have created a, a view tab view so after that i have written the uh, one sql code through how uh, it was uh, it will help so here what i am doing here so simply what i am i am selecting the experience as experience count total count is count then i am doing the sum sum means i have written the case statement when sql is null or sql equal to 100 and sql is null algo is null or algo equal to 100 or bug fix is null or bug fix equal to 100 then one else 0 end as a max and from assess, uh, from table tf i have different name i have insert group by experience and order by experience so this way i have resolved this issue and submitted the things so i got selected but uh, uh, anyhow i don't uh, my, my friends got selected and second uh, uh, interview question uh, whatever second round or other, other round if he will provide then i will share with you the question as of now this is uh, for today and uh, tomorrow i will come with another set of interview question which we are asking in a different uh, interview so uh, thank you for watching keep like keep subscribe my channel and give me suggestion if any improvement required from my side thank you very much for watching